Hello guys and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a guide on Venti, Hero Guide. So, what do you guys know about Venti? You probably just know that someone told you, hey, you need to pull for Venti. But why do you have to put pull for Venti? That is the question, question that hopefully I can answer today. And for some of you that have already been using Venti, hopefully I can teach you some insightful things about how, how his kit works and what is the most efficient way to deal damage with him. So, let's start with the basics. What are his skills? His skills are three, just like any other character in this game. But uh, he has a simple attack screen string, which is a very, very cool one, because he does a double shot, and the, uh, it is basically a double shot into another shot, uh, which is very handy to kiting enemies, because you can always do two shots dodge, two shots dodge, two shots dodge, two shots dodge, and this way you can actually deal a pretty decent amount of damage for a ranger, because his first two shots are very, very fast. So. In, in, in terms of that, he's a very, very good unit to have. Actually, that guy's trying to go at me, so let's why, why not just prove it? Let's do a full, attract, uh, full attack string. You'll see that his attack string is made up by six hits, which is uh, very, very cool, and the last hit is the one that hits the hardest. As you saw there, boom. When he crits, he deals, he deals more damage, of course. So, that's basically his uh, single target um, attack string. Now we're going to go into his skills. This is currently how my Venti looks like. His gear looks kind of like this. It's full purple uh, on half Brave, half Berserker because I just don't have uh, efficient enough gear for him and you'll understand why in a bit. This is a man that will require um, element, uh, I mean not element, uh, energy recharge. This man will require enemy re recharge because he has pretty low cooldowns, but he, this is a strong hero, mostly because he can ulti, he can E during the ulti, and then there's very little downtime between your first ulti and your second ulti. So as long as you can guarantee you have the energy, all you have to wait for is the cooldown. So he's a very, very strong unit because he has a vortex, and we'll go over those two abilities right now. So his first, his normal uh, E attack. His E attack looks like this, all right? So basically, you, there's two ways to do the, this attack. One, you tap. If you tap, it does AoE damage and it targets the closest enemy that is to you. So, uh, this means that you can just kite around, use your E, and it's going to knock up your enemy and do AoE and Nemo damage. If you hold it down, it will create a wind current, which you can use to traverse things in the map, but it, it will also do more damage in... Um, in normal PvE uh, situations. Also, it no longer targets any uh, unit, it becomes a EOE larger than the first one, but it's around you. So if you want to protect yourself from close by our enemies, and if you want to get away, you can always use that uh, Venti uh, ulti, because being uh, in the sky is a very, very good advantage in PvE, since you can actually hold it for a very, very long time. And actually, I can actually give you a, dem a demonstration of that. All right, let's let's see Z. So let's let's see the first cast. The first cast, if you cast it, it has six seconds cooldown. Okay, it's a very very low cooldown since you're gonna be ulting and then using this ability after. So as you can see, it's already up again. So it's pretty low cooldown. And if you want to traverse some terrain, you can always press it down. It becomes AOE around you, and then all you gotta do is fly. But what you what you need to know is that you can actually stand in this. For the duration of this, you can actually stay and you will not lose your altitude. So in a PvE scenario, all the mobs could be down there and no one can actually hit you unless they have ranged attacks. So it's a very good way to protect yourself, regen some energy and whatever you, you need actually. So as you can see, it lasts for quite a bit and it's an AoE ability. That's basically his E. So now let's go over his, his ulti. His ulti, it's the Q, and uh, it basically creates a vortex that pulls people in. And I'll, I'll, try to, I'll try to explain how you want to run a combo with this guy. So basically, it's going to target always. By the way, some people have an issue because they think uh, that uh, Venti Q actually triggers uh, towards your camera. So meaning you can aim it and, and shoot it to someone. No, you can't really hold it down. You can't really press it down. It goes to the character that is closest to you. Meaning that I, I could even turn my, my, uh, my head against these people. I can turn this way, but when I ulti, it's going to go to them because those are the closest targets uh, to, to me. So normally you want to do your Q into an E and normally that kills the enemy. And as you can see, I already have enough energy because my build has a ridiculously high amount of energy recharge. And as you can see, wait for cooldowns, you have it back again. That's why this character is so good. And this is why we, we, when we test this unit, we're going to test it on dungeon because that's where he excels. So basically those are the, the, rundown, uh, the rundown of the, the, his three abilities. 
anything else that I have to tell you is a lot of people seem to think that pressing E it's the best way to uh, deal damage with this unit but if you haven't realized when I pressed it look when I press it his cooldown is 15 seconds but when you tap it it's only six seconds that means that you can cast two E's in the duration of one pressed E and believe me it's gonna do more than uh, the, the extended or, or the enhanced damage that it normally does. Because I, I can show you right here. Let's do a charged E and let's see the numbers that come out. Hopefully I crit and I don't crit on some units. All right, let's see. I couldn't catch that at all. <laughs> because there's a fire effect here, I did swirl and swirl is, is, is something that works for every wind unit. Every un wind unit, every time you use a wind attack on some element, the first element it hits, uh, it, it becomes a part of your skill as well. So let's try to not get that sw the swirl on and let's try to look for some, uh, for some numbers here. Okay, I got a crit for 2,800, okay? So let's take that as a basis, all right? So now we're gonna kite a little bit, we're gonna wait for our cooldowns, and then we're gonna do a non-pressed E and see what the damage difference is. Hopefully I can crit as well, just so I can actually, you know, see the difference. Let's see it. 2,000. So it went from 2,000 to 2,800, which is a big increase since the AOE is bigger and you can hit more enemies with it. But if you press two E's, you're gonna almost double the damage. And also because you're using two abilities on a unit, you're gonna actually farm more uh, energy recharge from it. So there's not much of a point to using your E pressed down in, 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 in every situation. You mostly wanna use your E's because your E's, when you tap them, have low cooldown, you can use a bunch of them, and that actually helps you to CC your enemy more often as well, which makes it very good. You, you should only use your E if you're surrounded by enemies and it's handy for you to actually stay afloat and move away uh, on the battlefield. So that's my advice for you guys. Uh, I do think that Venti works better by tapping. But enough talking, we're gonna go into this dungeon and we'll see how Venti will do. All right, here we go. A cool trick that you do need to know that your E allows you to do that will actually enhance your damage in, in a burst fashion is that if you press it down, you get airtime. Every time you can airtime, you can down attack, meaning that you can go like this and then press your attack and don't go like this. And then you'll have two hits of this ability uh, for you to you know hit the enemy with. But at the same time, I still think that pressing E uh, or tapping E is more useful because you can tap one E and then press it and you're still gonna be doing more damage than just pressing it once. I know it, it, it sounds really dumb, but it is what it is. Like you're, you're actually, you, you have more flexibility with your tapped E than holding it down. So now let's test how normally Venti goes. Normally you wanna ult early so you can grab your enemies and then you wanna E and then you wanna use your combat attack str string. If you use your normal single attack string, uh, it also helps you uh, recharge your um, your energy, which will allow you to use your ulti earlier as well. So let's do it. So normally, as you can see, if I would do my ulti here, it would cast on this guy, but I don't want it there. I want it on the slimes. So let's go like this. It's going to target the first slime here, and it's going to make this. So now, once the enemies are there, you use your E. That's that's very simple combo. And then normal attack string is just to get some extra... Uh, charge but as you can see my ulti is gonna recharge this is actually one of those dungeons that if you're wet it makes your uh, your cooldowns extremely high that's why it's so high here but it still doesn't matter for the test so as you can see uh, dungeons have some enhanced uh, damage so it's not really super good to see the damage numbers here but as you can see like you're it's easier to control your opponents if you just stab if you hold it down not only do you have to get closer or you should just you really use it on a pinch situation because that's where you will do be best at so let's do it I just realized this is a time trial so I might just you know do get some help from my other units okay <laughs> just saying all right because <laughs> I, I actually don't want to waste I don't want to waste my time doing this right all right so normally what you want to do is you want to run around your enemies and try to make them a little ball like turn, turn tra transform them into a little ball that's mainly your goal and then you can swap to other units and help with the damage because remember if if the if the uh, swirl isn't activated yet yeah, uh, you can still use it with other abilities. Meaning, if you're using it on a neutral type uh, unit that is isn't actually casting uh, much uh, elemental, um, you know, abilities, you can always use your own elemental abilities to make Venti's ulti swirl. But because these uh, these mobs they have water and they're all wet, it makes every single time you hit it, it's gonna make a water swirl and the ulti is gonna become water. 
So that's that's the thing you need to care for. Also, you need to see you need you need to, you need to know some drawbacks about Venti. D Venti is very strong, but it does have drawbacks against enemies with shields that cannot be CC'd while they have these shields. Example, this mage is right. If this mage was a lot tankier than he actually is, you know what would happen? I would not be able to pull him with my ulti. And that's very, very bad because Venti needs your, the ulti to control. A lot of units that have shields and they charge at you, Venti is not gonna be great against them because he can't control them at all. So mostly, Venti is a very, very good farmer because he can pull all the little units and they're all gonna be disabled because they're gonna be uh, CC'd in the air while getting pulled. So basically, that's the rundown of Venti. It's a very good unit to traverse uh, terrain with. Some people seem to think that it's, it's too good. It's a must-have unit for traversing terrain, and I can guarantee to you, it's not. It will make a lot of things very, very much easy, but in this game, they never put like a Geonculus or, or anything like that in a spot that cannot be accessed without having Venti. So, be a piece if you don't have venti he's a very good unit but again he's a support dps even though you can build him with a very high damage he's still going to be always be a support dps because with the same gear other units just will deal more damage so that's basically the rundown of venti and this is also the trial for venti so if you guys have any other questions and if you enjoy this video please let me know leave a like and i will very very much appreciate it and that's it hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye bye